Hi guys, Jurella here, back with our new series of The Expanse. We're on to episode 6, season 1. Uh, the last episode has seen them wondering what they're going to do now. Now the word is out as to what exactly has happened, thanks to Holden's face being everywhere. Uh, and then they get this mysterious communication from a guy called Fred Jackson, I think his name was. But throughout the episode, we were getting flashbacks of just who this guy may be um, and that he's, he's pretty much known as a nickname as the butcher we've seen what he did with a lot of people who was protesting about rights for children uh, their own children and the, the conditions that they're having to put up with and it looks from the face of things that the guy just blew them all out into space so they could just be heading away from one enemy to another here I don't know we're just gonna have to find out but at the end of the episode the detective got kidnapped in broad daylight in the middle of the whatever you want to call it street i don't know what they call it but you know what i mean anyway we're going to carry on i'm excited to find out more enjoying the series so far so let's carry straight on episode six took me five years of sheep dipping in johnson's outfit to steal tech for his competitors it's worth a lot of money to me the answer is no i do my patriotic duty by screwing over fred johnson isn't that enough? But the matter is pressing. He made one mistake. Then help him move on. Let me help him. Russ and Ate, you are cleared for station dock at Berth C4. Please cut your engines and release your guidance systems to Tycho DC. There you are. You're either some kind of genius, Mr. Holden. Are you the luckiest dipshit in the solar system? Why did you invite us here? You two were the only witnesses to a series of catastrophic events. You could be the key to stopping all our war. We're not the only witnesses. I have half a platoon of pissed off Martian Marines who are just itching for some payback. As a Corvette class Martian frigate that typically crews 30, I only see two of you. You walked off that ship because you're in charge. At least you think you are. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have broadcast your transponder and your position to the entire system. We're going to have a nice long talk, you and I. How long depends on you? It's a pretty big boat you're building out there. A small fleet of cell ships wouldn't be impossible. I'm not gonna debate with you. We're going back to our ship now. I'm afraid you can't go back to the ship. Sounds like he doesn't like it, by I'm taking control of the Tachi right now. The hell you Freeze, are. Right there! Those guns can't help you anymore. You don't want to test this particular guy. I've raised and buried your kind by the hundreds. Not my kind. Broken boys. Quick to the trigger. Slow on the uptake. How's it going out there? Uh, sir, we have a problem. Why did you go back to Julian Mao's apartment? Take my job very seriously. You are the station joke. I did my homework. We are fighting for something precious here, Miller. Sure. A fatter percentage of the docks. It's a great idea. You know, that scapula disaster is a dead fish on your doorstep. <laughs> you keep missing the point. That's why you got to make the Mao case disappear. The only question is why you got to sacrifice her. I provided a ship for an OPA recon mission out of Ceres, which disappeared. The name of that ship is the Scopuli. That's right. I need this frigate to retrieve the lone survivor. Gotta be another ship you can send. I need a gunship. It's getting hot out there, and the OPA's got nothing like this. They'll stay and be your witnesses. We'll all give sworn statements. I'm sorry. I can't do that. We're gonna be spending a lot of time staring at each other across the dock out there. You and I both want the same thing to do right by our people. Fred Johnson offered to crew me up. You guys will be safe here on Tycho till all this blows over, then you can go back to your lives. You're using his crew? How do you know he's not gonna space you the second you get out because there? Because you're gonna rig the Rossi so it only responds to my command. For God's sake. All that's waiting out there for you is more trouble, more death. Why are you so hell-bent, Holden? I locked the distress call on the camp. Amos. Holden did the right thing. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Let's talk about Julie Mao. Is she alive? 
She chose to be OPA because she believed that what we are fighting for is just. She was willing to make a sacrifice for us, which is more than you. She trusted you. And living with this pain, I came to realize that I have millions of brothers and sisters in the belt. I even count you among them. If she was here right now, she'd spit in your face. You are everything she despised. A belter who preys on his own kind. But why not? Why are you interested in Fred Johnson? He has blood on his hands and wants redemption. While Earth and Mars throw sand in each other's faces, the OPA rises in the belt. The Donager was destroyed by advanced stealth warships. And Fred Johnson is building the largest spacecraft in human history. The OPA smuggler we captured was carrying South composites. That's not a coincidence. Fred Johnson turned his back on Earth. The OPA killed your son. You sure this isn't personal? You're damn right it's personal. I grew up in places like this. You grew up? I wouldn't have figured that. It must have been rough. Nah, it's fine. Why don't you spin some script? Go on. It'd be good for you. I, I can't. Oh, come on. You're not married. A lot of Martians gave their lives getting us onto this ship. They did? In the heat of the battle. They fought to get you off the Donager. He died for us. I'll make sure his body's returned to Mars. He's a fellow soldier. Thank you for that. Relax. You're ready to fail safe, right? Mm -hmm. They try to access any areas that they shouldn't, and the Rosie's core will self-destruct. <laughs> Damn, that was close, dude. To those brave, crazy bastards who got us off the Donature. Hey. Got a little respect. Those Marines could have saved themselves, gone home to their families, instead of coming back for us. Why did you come back for us? Well, you're only there because of me. <laughs> What's that? Some sort of memory disk. So what's next for Naomi Nagata when all this blows over? I'm using my last remaining brain cells to try and kill my last remaining brain cells. So let's get to work on that, shall we? You're being filmed. Okay. Found this at uh, Julie's. Yeah, he did. Let's see what's on it. You're late. What is this? Oh, spare us the speech. The ship's ready. Are you? I guess we lost Amos. Oh, he'll be here in a sec. I guess I'll, uh, I'll put on some coffee. You people drive a hard bargain. You got our recorded statements. We'll bring your Lionel Polanski home. The law guy. In return, I want you to help me find someone. Someday I'll come to you with a name. No questions asked. Okay. I'll do what I can. It's not dormant, it's giving off heat. I'm seeing molecular reactions, vibrational resonances all across the spectrum. Can you hear me? Look at this thing. Where'd this recording come from? Phoebe. That's what I think. Phoebe, Phoebe Station. I meant where'd you get it? Julie Mao. Dawes crewed up this black bag ship, which vanishes with all souls aboard. And then, data broker ends up dead, and ships start blowing up. Scientists on Phoebe discover something, something big, that would tip the balance of power. The OPA gets wind of it. They send a crew out to steal it. Mission goes south. We need to get a sample of Phoebe. Now. What the hell have you found? Are you telling anyone about this? Uh, just you. What about this? Copies? 
Erase Detective Miller's case files and cancel all his clearances. What are you doing? Uh oh. You're fired. What? He bought you. Get out. You're in his pocket. You gotta be kidding me. The whole police force. Have it your way. Security. You know I'm tired of. <laughs> Help Mr. Miller find the door. Type of control, this is gas freighter Rocinante requesting clearance for departure. Understood, Rocinante. Your flight plan has been filed and logged. Be advised you'll be crossing three Martian trade zones. The likelihood of encountering MCR in patrols is high. Time to go find out who this guy is and recover him. Right, that was episode six, rock bottom. Uh, I'm still not entirely certain as to exactly what is going on. But there is something seriously being hidden here that I didn't see coming. That, in effect, he's bought the police and now his boss has just took that memory card, data card, whatever you want to call it. I think they call them um, data cubes, is it? Uh, secured it in her safe. He's fired. So, in the space of one day, he almost ended up dead and now he's ended up fired instead. So... There's a lot of secrecy going on here. Dawes has obviously bought her. I don't know if he's bought the whole police force, but he's definitely got her in his pocket. And now this Fred Johnson, no, Jackson, Johnson, guy, is sending them out to go and recover this guy. I want to know what it is that we've discovered on this Phoebe station. He kind of put all the pieces together for us there because it didn't actually show us until he was in our office what he'd discovered from... What did retrieve from uh, Julie's apartment? So, this has got to be as to why all of this is kicking off. Why they're, why they're prepared to hide it at all costs. It makes sense that he says the OPA caught wind of it and tried to go and either find it, figure out what it was, or steal it. And that's why all this started. But... I need more information myself before I can even remotely start to figure what's going on. You guys are all okay. You've probably seen it. Uh, I'm still trying to piece it all together. Uh, the one thing I think he did tell the truth about in that dose was the discussion that he had with him, with his, about his sister. And I, I don't know. When it's these sort of people that are fighting, fighting for their freedom, their independence, to be treated, not as second class citizens, I kind of understand and kind of on board with him, but they always seem to go about it in a way that undermines what they're trying to do in the first place. But you don't you don't make an omelette without breaking a couple of eggs. That's the problem. You have to get your hands dirty. People end up dying. People end up being sacrificed. And that's what he's got a problem with. Because this guy's prepared to sacrifice anyone but himself. That's what he's making a point at. I get it. Right. So, I guess the next episode is going to be them. First of all, trying to um, get past any of these MCRN patrol routes. And not getting themselves... You know, not getting in like some sort of blockade or something. Or ended up like what that other guy just had with his, his cousin. Where he's literally had to sacrifice himself. Because they just see them as complete trash. Right. I should be back for episode 6. Very No. Episode 7. Very soon. Until then guys. Thanks a lot for uh, watching. Please post your comments down below. Give me details of things that I'm missing because I am finding it quite difficult to pick up on a lot of the stuff that they're throwing at me in this show because it's coming thick and fast and I have been told that it will balance out it will start to calm down and things will start to make more sense but they're introducing the entire world the characters the way they talk the different factions they're introducing everything to us all at once and it's a, it's all swirling around in my brain right now Anyway, don't forget this episode will be available on Patreon full then for you to watch if you uh, want to go check that out. The link will be in the description as always. And I will see you for episode 7 in a few days time. Till then, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe and I'll see you for more episodes of The Expanse. Till then guys, take care.